Hey, what's going on guys? God Titus here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to solo Canal Nightmare Hardcore runs. Really simple. I've seen maybe like one video about this and honestly, there's a much easier way to do it. And to be honest, the video was like 240p and it just wasn't that good like honestly it just wasn't so i thought i'd give you guys like a real easy example you could do this either with warrior or the mage setup is highly up to you just using either electric slash or the tsunami literally so simple the safest way to do it you barely like if you die you have to really mess up right so you need a decent amount of dps for this is the issue so i run like green overload warrior a purple overload warrior hat and then a rage blade nowhere near the highest potential stuff you can have but you just need to be able to one shot these things with these two abilities like i'll show you here it's super simple though you don't even have to get into range of them and i'll show you what you have to do so all you do is you run up you pop your two abilities at the same time and you walk back by the time the damage registers you're already way out of their attack range and they can't hit you now i understand this isn't the most fun way to do it but it is the easiest way too it's the safest way the lowest chance of dying rather than if you're running in with either the blade storm or the vortex there's a lot higher chance of you actually getting hit and i mean granted you do get movement speed and everything like that if you want to run just one of those because my main issue that i saw when i was doing solos with like blade slash or vortex it was mostly the fact that if you slipped up for like half a second or there's certain areas where you know you can only kill so many and then you know it, it's just a lot riskier is basically what it comes down to so all you have to do is literally just run two electric slashes or two tsunamis and this is the easiest and simplest way there's really like zero chance of dying unless you mess up on a boss. Even right here, you would think that like if you were running something like Bladestorm, you'd have to run in and kind of like kite all their hits. With this, you don't have to do anything. You literally just pop your two abilities and you walk away. Super simple. And I'll show you guys all the bosses and everything just so you can see it's just the same. It really isn't anything difficult. You never even come close to taking damage unless it's at a boss. Also, for these big lines like this, this still does hit everyone. I don't know if Tsunami will, but the Electric Slash does hit all of them in just one go. Alright, so the next boss, same concept. You literally just pop these and all you have to do is focus on dodging. The one good thing that I like about this is instead of like Vortex or Bladestorm, you don't have to be super close for that ability to worry about. So you literally just sit back, you wait your 7 seconds, you can just chill. It makes things a lot simpler, it's a lot more calm, you don't really have to pay as much attention when doing this. Like I said, it's insanely easy, there's literally no other way that I know of to do it this safely and this easy. Alright, so at this final boss, it's again the same concept, you mostly just focus on dodging because you only really have to just drop these two abilities and then move around. And as you can see, it really only takes about 4 minutes for a solo. Now you could do about like 3 minutes, maybe 2.5 with like a good team. But if you're struggling to find a team or you don't have like these insane requirements that people expect you to, this is the easiest way to do it. Just over 4 minutes, easy solos, 100% success rate. And that's all guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.